Hello everyone, I am Virendra Rajput and you are watching CAD Learning Resources YouTube channel. Welcome to the first video of AutoCAD tutorial. In this video you will learn about Cartesian and Polar Coordinate System. So let's start. To specify this point A in the space, let's take two mutually perpendicular lines as a reference, horizontal line called as x-axis and vertical line called as y-axis. Intersection of these two lines is known as origin. Horizontal distance of this point A is one unit known as x-coordinate. Vertical distance of the point A from the origin is also one unit it's y coordinate so coordinates of point a can be written as one comma one one is x coordinate and this one is y coordinate both the coordinates are separated by comma so this method of specifying point in a space is known as cartesian coordinate system. Let's take another example. So this is the point. The horizontal distance of this point from the origin is 3 units and vertical distance of this point is 3 units. That's why coordinates can be written as 3 comma 3. So this is another point, its horizontal distance is 3 units but in the negative x axis direction, so it is minus 3 and vertical distance of this point from the origin is 4 units. So coordinates can be written as minus 3 comma 4. Similarly coordinates of this point minus 4 comma 4. Two. So coordinates of this point minus 2 comma minus 2. Horizontal distance on the negative x axis minus 2 and vertical distance of this point from the origin in the negative y axis minus 2. Similarly here minus 1 comma minus 4. Now we have to locate a point having coordinates. 2 comma minus 4. So first measure its horizontal distance from the origin 2 units and y coordinate is minus 4. So obviously it will be on the negative y axis. So this is minus 4. So point will be located from here and from here. So this is the required point 2 comma minus 4. Similarly locate the point having coordinates 5 comma minus 5. So horizontal distance from the origin 5 units and y coordinate minus 5. So point is located here. So this is all about coordinate system uh, Cartesian. Now Let's talk about the polar coordinate system. In this system, let's say a line AB having length 100 mm and it has angle of 30 degree with the positive x axis. So to specify this line using polar coordinate system, we first write the length of the line passing between two points so length is 100 mm and then we write the symbol of angle and write the value of the angle that is 30 degree so here we always take this angle with the positive x axis and in AutoCAD the 0 degree is considered here and by default it measures angle anticlockwise so in uh, polar method 
we can define or specify it by the length and the angle between the line and the positive x axis thank you for watching the video